Hey guys and welcome back to another video of the assembly joint series. So we just looked at the rotational joint inside of Autodesk Inventor. We also saw how we were able to limit that joint so that it gives us the correct animation right as we are essentially rotating that lever. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the rotational joint one more time. This time focusing on this connector component. Right, so same thing as last time, we want to go to the joint tab. Again, this little window pops up and you wanna make sure that you set that to rotation, right? Again, it's asking for a few selections. In this case, we want to select the component that's gonna be moving into place. In this case, it's the connector. And we want to set that towards this section of the lever right so again notice that I do want to make sure that I select the center between these two faces and again I can't select that portion right so instead you guys are going to want to right click and then select between two faces right so now if I select this face rotate select this face and now what you can do is Notice that if you hover over that edge of the circle, it automatically picks up that you want the center of that hole there, right? Which is what we want, select that edge. And notice that it gives us the correct joint. I can go ahead and click okay. And I don't want to limit this just yet. Uh, so in the next video, we are gonna be looking at how to join this shaft to this connector using the slider joint. Right, so stay tuned for that one. So this has been how to work with the rotational joint while also using the between phases option. Hope that helped.